How do you follow that? That's a mom. I'll try not to cry. I heard that earlier. I'll try not to cry. My niece is here today. Her daughter is a special needs child that's been in my life for more than 30 years. So I'll try not to cry. I've gotten letters from many of you, many of you, over the years, not just now, but over the years. This is not a new fight. So I've gotten those letters and I've read those letters and I'll try not to cry. I know what is about to happen. So I'll try not to cry. But boy, I can sure smile when I look at you. You can stop this nonsense, this lunacy. You know, I, I often hear, and you've heard this, that Medicaid and Medicare are entitlement programs, and they're spoken of in a sneering way. Yes, they are entitlement programs. They entitle us to believe we're the finest nation on earth. That's what they entitle us to do. This was not my speech, by the way. This is the executive budget. And it's DHHR's presentation to the Finance Committee. And I promise you, I'm going to be looking at it a lot more closely now. Because I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure that the need for this is not represented, the need for what's happening to you is not represented in this document. I do not believe that. For years, I've seen administrations, and I'm talking about all administrations. I've been here 17 years, and every administration has the same tunnel vision when it comes to the AD waiver and the IDD waiver. And that is simply, they fail to recognize that it's growing and the need is growing. And in response to that need, instead of actually doing what we need to do, which to, is to make those programs not optional programs, but mandatory programs, instead of doing that, we cut. We say to our DHHR secretary, this is your budget, and by George, you can't ask for any more money. That's what administrations do. I'm not going to yell at the secretaries of DHHR. They're the messengers. But the message is wrong, and the message is being delivered to the wrong people, and it's being delivered in a particularly <laughs> tragic way. I pray that what you're bringing to the table today brings us to recognize that we need to stop asking why the problem exists, we need to start asking, how do we fix it? God be with you all. I know he is. I have no doubt, because he's represented in the children and the adults that you represent. That's where he is. And I want you to know that myself, the other delegates here, and many others who couldn't be here today, many who called me, are with you in this fight. And we will fight for you and with you. You can count on that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.